Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix the issue as seen here on screen. Now, um, this problem usually happens with a set-top box or digital cable or cable box, right? So as you can see here, the arrow will appear on screen. It says your TV is currently connected to an inactive output on this set-top box. Please press V out or video out, I think, button on your remote control to activate this output or connect your TV to the AV output so basically um this error might just appear on your t um, tv or so on and you're not sure why it's happening so i'm going to show you some things you can actually do to fix the issue so in case you're having the same problem all right now the first thing you want to do guys is just get your remote and as you can see here this is my remote and it's actually the set top box remote and this is a standard remote it might be of a different um branding many um isps are um cable providers will tend to just brand their um, logo onto it, all right? Now, um, first of all, you need to find the video out button, and chances are you have just missed it. And in my case, I didn't see it. And where it actually is on this remote, it's actually all the way down here. So if you look at the base right down here, you should see the V out button. And of course, what had happened was that I had mistakenly pressed it or my hand just basically caught it and I couldn't find this button, all right? So all I have to do now is simply just press the V out button and just look in the background or notice. All right, and there you go. And I've muted the video to prevent any copyright strikes. But if I press the button again, it will return. All right, so just look out for the V out button. All right, now um, this might work in most of the cases. In other cases, it might not. So in case that is not your issue, here's another thing that you can actually try. Now, the first thing I advise you to do, guys, is in case it's the TV's fault, what you can do is just check your TV remote and you can try changing the inputs in case it's a input issue. So right away, you can just go ahead on different remotes. It might be called different things. For example, on this remote, the video, on this remote, the video out option or the V out option would be source. So let me just show you the source. So if you look up here, it says source is the same thing as video out. On another remote, it might be called, um, let me see here, it might be called um, input, right? So they all mean the same thing. So input, source, or video out. So all you have to do in such a case is just try cycling through the various inputs to see if it's just a matter of the TV has been switched to the wrong input. So in case that fails, the next thing you could try, guys, is just go ahead and switch through the various um, outputs on your TV by um, unplugging your HDMI cable. So if, for example, your set-top box, let's say it has... So as you can see, this is my set-top box. It's a little bit dark. I apologize. But just in case, what you could actually do, guys, is try to change the HDMI port. So if it has two ports, switch to a secondary port or switch the ports on the TV itself. Yes, so by switching the inputs on the set-top box, what you have actually done is that you're trying out a secondary input or on the TV, you can actually try a secondary input and then just hit the source button or the input button and switch over to see if it's um, the message um, has been cleared or it goes away and the display actually comes back and of course if that fails too I actually um, advise that you switch out the cable itself and try a new HDMI input or if you have another form of input you can actually try that connection as well and finally another thing that you can do is to um, turn the TV off turn off the cable box or the set top box and unplug them from the wall wait about a minute or a little bit longer allow the power to drain totally from these devices then plug them in again and of course after plugging them in once more let's go ahead and see if the errors um, disappeared and of course guys as I said most times it's just a matter of finding the video out option on the remote um, it's very small and you might have missed it so just go ahead and search your remote carefully it might be in this same location or somewhere else on yours alright guys we got it from Block Tech Tips showing you how to easily fix the error as seen here where you're seeing the option that says um you're um, unable to that you're connected to a input that an inactive input all right guys so this is from block tech tips same bye until next time bye